हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एक्जियोमेट्रिक कॉस दिस वीडियो इज द पार्ट ऑफ द सोल्यूशन सीरीज फॉर आई आई टी जैम टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी सो वी आर हेव विद दिस प्रॉब्लम फिफ्टी टू ऑफ योर पेपर दिस प्रॉब्लम फिफ्टी टू इज फ्रॉम सेक्शन सी सो दैट इज वाई इट्स अ न्यूमेरिकल आंसर टाइप सो हैव अ लुक कंसिडर द एक्सपेंशन ऑफ द फंक्शन एफ एक्स गिवेन बाई दिस सो वी हैव अ फंक्शन एफ एक्स and what we have to consider we have to consider its expansion in powers of x that is valid in mod x less than 1 by 2 then the coefficient of x to the power 4 is so what actually we have to do we have to find out the coefficient of x to the power 4 all right so see what we have we have this fx is equal to 3 by 1 minus x 1 plus 2x so don't think that you have to find out the taylor expansion by differentiating it are you getting my point what we have to do in this question is use is to use all those expansion that we already know and by using those expansion we can solve this all right so now what i will do i will tell you the expansion of 1 minus x to the power minus 1 suppose we know the expansion we know that what it is it's 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube and so on we know this all right now because we know this therefore we can actually write the expansion of this we can also write the expansion of this but but this expansion that we have written is valid for mod x less than 1 all right but in this case you have 1 plus 2x so in order to find out expansion of 1 plus 2x what you have to do you have to take two common out of it so if you will take two common out of it so you will end up with this are you getting my point so from here what we are getting we are getting this thing that all right so what we can do also don't take two common outside what we can do i will tell you now all right so let me raise this part so see what i will do i will take my mod x to be less than 1 by 2 suppose i am taking my mod x to be less than 1 by 2 then the quantity that is written over here will also be less than 1 so suppose mod x is less than 1 by 2 that means 2x mod is less than 1 by 2 1 is less than 1 so using this rule i can write that this expansion will be valid when mod x is less than 1 by 2 so according to this rule what we will get we will get 1 minus 2x plus 2x whole square minus 2x whole cube and so on this is what we will get so see now the expansion become more simpler because what i can do i can write this thing like this 1 minus x to the power minus 1 c i can write the expansion of this when mod x is less than 1 i can write the expansion of this when mod x is less than 1 by 2 so but what i want i want to write expansion of both so what i have to do i have to take this one because for mod x less than 1 by 2 both expansion will exist got it so now let us write so it's very easy question 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube and so on and here you, what you, you will get from here you will get uh, 1 minus 2x plus 2x square so 2 square x square and then you will get 2 cube x cube and the final term will be plus 2 4 x 4 and so on i will not write the term which are after it because what we have what we need we need the coefficient of x to the power 4 so see the terms by which you can get x to the power 4 so if you will multiply this 1 with this then you will get x to the power 4 that means coefficient will be what coefficient will be 1 dot 2 to the power 4 Now, if you will multiply this x with this x cube, then you will get what? You will get x to the power four. So coefficient will be one, minus one dot two cube. 
Now if you will multiply x square with this x square, what you will get? You will get x to the power 4. So this is your coefficient. Now similar thing is from here. So what you will get? You will get minus 2 coefficient from here. Now a term which is after it is x to the power 4. So if you will multiply this x to the power 4 with 1, you will still get uh, coefficient of x to the power 4. So these are the coefficient of x to the power 4. The terms which are after it will give, give you more, much more degree. So we don't need them. All right. So let us calculate this. What is 2 to the power 4? It's it's uh, it's 16, right? What is 2 to the power 3 is 8. Then you have 4. Then you have minus 2. Then you have plus 1. All right. So 8 and 2 is 10. 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 1, 11. So you are finally getting 11 as your answer. All right, so 33 will be the coefficient of x to the power 4 in the expansion. So we are not using any Taylor expansion. We are actually using Taylor expansion, but what we are not doing, we are not doing differentiation part in the Taylor expansion. We are using the expansion that we already know and by using those expansion, we are solving it. All right. So question also want the same. They don't want you to differentiate it infinitely many times and then solve this question. There is no point of doing that. So we remember these expansion. All right. So you have to remember few expansions that I have written for you and using those expansion, you can always solve these kind of things. So this is how we can solve this question. All right. So remember these expansion that if you have this expansion, then you can do all right. So try to remember few expansion and using those expansion, you can always solve this kind of problem. All right. So I have seen this problem in many previous year papers. So it's, it, it becomes very important to understand and to remember these, these expansion and using them, we can always solve. All right. So thank you.